Yeah, yeah, are we having fun yet? Yo, what up? I'm Johnny Novak, and uh, as you can see, we're back in my office right now, even though it's kind of a mess. I got stuff on the walls now. It's coming along. It's coming along. Uh, today, I'm going to talk to you about a pop culture phenomenon known as the Nickelback Rebound. You may have heard of it. Actually, you haven't because I am making it up right now. But the Nickelback Rebound has to do with the band Nickelback. Remember Nickelback? Yeah, yeah, are all we having fun yet? So now I owe Chad Kroger 10 bucks in royalties because of that, but Nickelback were one of the biggest bands of the early 2000s. Actually, fun fact about Nickelback, they were the second highest grossing band in the 2000s in the United States of America. The only band that beat them was the Beatles. So they were literally the highest selling living band in the 2000s down in the US of A. But Nickelback started off really, really cool. But then Nickelback eventually became a parody of itself and then everyone hated Nickelback and then it was really cool to make fun of Nickelback for a while. That was the cool thing to do. But then everyone started doing it and then it was uncool to make fun of Nickelback and it was almost cooler to start liking Nickelback than hating Nickelback. That, my friend, is the Nickelback Rebound. And I'll give you a few examples of the Nickelback Rebound in pop culture. Pokemon. Remember Pokemon it used to be the biggest thing in the late 90s? And then it kind of got out of control. There was all these Pokemon video games. Pokemon Snap, where you just took pictures of Pokemon. Then there was like Pokemon gold and silver and crystal and then after that the games became absolutely ridiculous they started running out of colors it was like fire red and like leaf green and they were just putting things in front of it just to make it seem like it was really really cool and then it kind of imploded pokemon became a joke everyone made fun of it and then it kind of disappeared for a couple of years until the summer of 2016. Remember when Pokemon Go was the only thing holding society together? It was a huge thing! And that is an example of the Nickelback Rebound, something being cool, then being uncool, to eventually being cool yet again. Try to think of another example. Oh, carbs. Remember as a kid in the food pyramid, when carbs were a really good thing and a part of this complete breakfast. And then all of a sudden, carbs became bad. No one ate carbs in the 2000s, and now carbs are cool again. It's cool to eat carbs, kids. Keeps you healthy and strong. Now, I want to give some predictions right now. These are some things that will benefit from the Nickelback Rebound in the future. Chingy. Remember him? We be chillin' at the Holiday Inn. The hottest rapper of 2006. Uh, I own like 10 bucks now for that little ditty I just sang for ya. Royalties checks coming in. But now, Chingy, he's gonna make a comeback soon. Chingy is gonna be the coolest rapper in the near future. Um, Pen Pals. When was the last time you wrote a letter to someone, like hand wrote a letter, stuck it in the mailbox after licking the stamp and everything? That is going to be the next cool thing that's going to benefit from the Nickelback Rebound. And you know what also is going to benefit from the Nickelback Rebound? This channel, because I have had a few crap videos these last couple of weeks. I haven't really had a big hit since the Socks and Sandals video. That's my big one right now. Uh, my Ottawa Senators audition tape from a few years ago, that was a big one. And uh, the, uh, the Heinz versus French's one. So uh, if you could like and subscribe to this, that would be awesome. And uh, I will see you next Tuesday.